Hey, it's Michael Sky. I'm here in Austin, Texas. My old stomping grounds after eight years of slow traveling the world. And I want to share with you, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to Mexico in about a week and uh, my travels are going to continue. But today I want to share a story with you about an epiphany I had, a day that changed my life forever. It was March 29th, it was a Wednesday, 2006. I was sitting in my office and I was listening to the news about uh, something really interesting that happened in schools all around the country the day before. In the middle of the school day, kids walked up, stood up, and walked out of class without any warning to the authorities, without getting permission, and they were marching down the street about some issue dealing with immigration. What was fascinating was, it turns out this was all organized by MySpace, which was like the beginning of social media, right? Before Facebook, before all these other uh, smartphone apps and everything else. This revolutionary act was coordinated, organized, and initiated using social media. I thought, wow, how powerful, you know? But I was also angry, and I was angry because the response of the authorities and the parents was, on the one hand, it was like, you know, patting them on the head. Well, you know, that's nice little Johnny. You want to make a difference, but you need to get permission. You need to do it on your own time and not during school. And the other, other authorities were saying, these kids should be punished. This is absolutely wrong. They need to be learned to obey and so forth. And I thought, how messed up is that? Because... You know, what, you, what are these kids going to learn in a day of school when their heart is calling them to do one thing, but they're afraid of being punished or being uh, made wrong are sitting in that class? They're going to learn not to follow their inner guidance. And that's the worst thing, in my opinion, that a young person can learn. So I was pissed off. And I wanted to speak up. I wanted to speak out. I wanted to do something about it. And the insight I had, the kind of my epiphany was that, in a way, I hadn't been acting on my own inner guidance. You know, these times when I felt like I could make a difference, where I could, you know, take action, I was instead uh, just continuing to work for some future vision, just working on my business. And uh, in a way, I was disconnected from my own uh, inner guidance. But I decided that was going to change that day, and I started speaking out. And uh, that week, one of my friends heard me, and she heard my passion. She said, Michael, come speak to my kids in my class, my high school class. And uh, I was a little nervous because in, in high school, I was never with someone who, you know, I didn't have a voice. I was shy. I was quiet. And, uh, but I said, I'm going to do it anyway. I went, and I went with this message and a, a really powerful revolutionary message for the kids. And I, I thought, you know, they're going to be excited about this and they're going to be empowered. But I just got blank stares uh, in return. The class was over. The kids walked out. I was disappointed. I was frustrated. And, uh, you know, and I expressed my frustration uh, to my friend, Robin, who had invited me to her class, who is the, the teacher. And she shared with me how she... You know, I should keep doing this. I should keep speaking to young people. And she said that she had a project where she was taking some high school kids to uh, to Kenya in a couple months, and that she needed a curriculum to teach kids. And I was excited because I had uh, a powerful entrepreneurship curriculum. And I I said, well, let me teach you my curriculum so you can teach it to these these African kids when you're there. And uh, so I started doing that. And one day as I was explaining all this to her, I was just like, I felt this huge desire inside of myself, inside my heart. It's like, I want to go. I want to be there. I want to teach the kids. And uh, it was just this huge, unmistakable uh, desire. And so, and she was all for it. And I just decided right then and there that I was going to go. I was, it was not the right time. Financially, it was financially irresponsible. It was impractical. It, for many reasons, it was the wrong time to go to my rational, logical mind. On top of that, I had I had uh, people warning me it's not safe. Don't go. Anyway, I'm going to tell that story to you uh, in the next video I've got coming up about. 
how I went to Africa, how that changed my life forever. And, you know, all these reasons I had about why I couldn't travel the world, about why uh, it just didn't make any sense. There was one thing that really changed all that, and it was just having the right guide. And that's this woman named Robin, who I'm going to tell you about more in the next video. Um, but I found that that kept happening throughout the next several years. There were different instances where I really wanted to travel, and it was not practical. It, was, it didn't make sense. But then the right guide came along. And so, you know, there's, there's kind of a formula here that I want to share about how if you have a desire to travel the world, how you can make it happen, and it, you don't need to be the one that figures out how to figure out all the money stuff, how to, you know, plan the trip, how to, how to make it all happen. You know, I've got to connect to what I really want, what I really desire, and then be willing to speak up and act up on it. And when I did that, the right guide showed up, the pathways opened, and like I said, I've traveled the world for the last eight years. So, uh, I hope that's helpful to you if you want to travel. If you really do have a deep longing and desire to travel, stay tuned for these next videos coming up. And I'm going to be offering my Carpe Diem course uh, for the second time, first time since last year, and possibly for the last time live, starting very soon. If you feel a connection to me and that I might be your guide, help, I'd love to help open those doors to you to go and actualize your dreams to travel the world. So stay tuned for those videos. And when you get the invitation to act and join the course, take action.